Karen Bailey <coughs> believed that she had what it took to cure it herself. And through that belief, she took herself on a process called the journey. And without any drugs or any surgical intervention, completely reversed the effects. So the first thing I want you to do is bear this in mind. If you believe that there's no cure for cancer, then guess what? There isn't. So I don't want you to believe anything that I tell you today. I know that sounds completely ridiculous. Don't believe any of it. Because if it doesn't work for you, then it's not believable. But, ask yourself this, what if? What if things were possible? And what if a relative of mine came to me, or a friend, with an incurable illness? How would it change their life if you believed
failing people, failing happy people will annoy the people of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone been in that mood where you see someone, yeah, I've got a great how, how are you feeling today? Oh, yeah, guess what? I've just had a million pound deal, everything's changing, my life has turned on its head overnight. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> if you're feeling stressed and you're feeling miserable, guess what? You don't want to hear about other people's good news. And guess what? That rubs off on everybody around you. It influences everyone in your life, your friends and your family. And we think we've been, you know, soldiering on. How are you doing today? Fine. I'm all right. I'm okay. Yeah, all right. So what if, what if you just started saying that? We don't have to believe it. What if you just started saying, I'm fantastic. I'm feeling great today. I mean, even if you weren't feeling great, what if you just said it anyway? You might just start to believe how you felt. For the next stage, aches, pains, or you're absolutely in great shape. Is anyone feeling in great shape today? Around the middle, everyone you want to get to know. I started today. I did some yoga. My body is actually feeling great. And you bastard. <laughs> to your head 